What is this? Is this a nipple clamp? Pretty spooky stuff. I would love to get sued by the singer of Gummy Bears. Hey, uh, uh, hey uh, uh, hi, uh, hello, uh, hello. Welcome to Game Grumps. No. You still got chocolate on your face from the last 10 minute power hour. I don't know what you're talking about. You got it. You got it. You got it. What are we doing today, Aaron? Miracle of childbirth! It's a boy. What are we doing today, Dan? I don't- I just asked you that. It's Halloween! We well, just did a Halloween episode. Well, it's the whole month. Oh. October is Halloween month. Alright, I'm into it. It's spooky! This does look spooky. You're always so sensitive to the scares. I don't like this already. What is this? So these are all the body monitors that we could legally obtain. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna hook you up to them, and I'm gonna try to scare you, and and we're gonna measure your oh, heart rate and I your heat it. rate. All right, all right, let's just scare rate. Let's just strap it on. I'm like a brave knight getting ready for battle. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't going to be a comfortable episode for me. I look like the world's least awesome Wolverine. Fingers. Oh, this is. I know this. Do we have a phone that's hooked up to this? Make sure that you are wearing the sensor correctly, and you have moistened the electrodes. I don't <laughs> want that. Do we have to? It's so cold <laughs> and uncomfortable. Is it? Stop this! <laughs> Training started. Okay, your training has started. Okay. So your heart rate is at a, a, a smooth 60 BPM. Okay. That's really low. That's really good. Yeah, I'm a pretty relaxed guy. Okay, what's this one? Is this a nipple clamp? Yeah, but it's for dogs. You are burning fat. <laughs> hey, All right. You're burning fat. I'm burning fat. <laughs> you having a blast right now? What is happening right now? I don't even fully understand this concept. Let's turn on all the things. All right. I don't know how to do any of that. It's like, oh, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> Wait, the temperature. <laughs> you didn't connect the temperature probe. What are you talking about? Where does that go? That goes up your butt. No. What? Dan's heart rate's going up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> As we talk about the mouse button. He's getting he's getting angry for some reason. <laughs> So this is the temperature probe? You're sure about that? I'm try unplugging it and plugging it back in. Always nice to know you're being power cycled as a patient. Can <laughs> <I> <laughs> tickles. Can you clamp on that? 98 degrees, like my favorite boy band. Oh, whoa. Oh. You okay? Yes. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, let's, let's it's tough to hide your frustration when you're hooked up to monitors. <laughs> oh, something's happening. It's getting snug. I think it could determine when it's too snug. This feels good, actually. Yeah? This is like when you go into CVS and like, <laughs> I'm gonna find out my heart rate. And it's like, you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we've taken, we've taken your vitals. Your blood pressure is 140 over 75. Okay. Your heart rate is about 60 to 65 BPM. Mm -hmm. This feels like highly personal information. And what about these little boys? Oh, 56 for your BPM. So they're like mostly accurate. Cool. And then whatever the 90 is. It's a range. Yeah. It's a range. <laughs> I don't know what the 90 is, so let's just figure that out. All right. You ready to hear a scary story, Dan? Yes, Aaron. Okay. This one's called Daddy's Home. A man and his young teenage son lived together in a small house on the outskirts of town. The boy heard a knock on the front door. He was a sensible boy and knew not to open the door to strangers. Instead, he went downstairs and looked through the peephole in the door to see who was there. He could see his father on the other side of the door, and the boy reached up to open the door. But something stopped him. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Dad? <laughs> the boy called out, but there was no reply. There was just a steady, rhythmic knocking on the door, which began to get faster and faster. The boy's dad was knocking constantly on the door, waiting for him to open up when suddenly he stopped, and there was no sound at all. The boy looked through the peephole again. His dad was still there, so he decided to open up. When he opened the door, he discovered his dad's head taped to the door in front of the peephole and a trail of bloody footprints leading down the drive. Looks like your heart went down. <laughs> <laughs> I found that story quite relaxing, actually. <clears throat> let's 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 reset the stage. 
This one's a this one's a shorter story. Hey, put this back in your armpit, dude. What are you doing? Right. <laughs> ah, it right tickles. All right, take it. Take a deep breath. This one's called Puppy in the Basement. <laughs> Mommy told me never to go in the basement, but I wanted to see what was making that noise. It kind of sounded like a puppy, so I opened the basement door and I tipped down, to, tiptoed down a bit. I didn't see a puppy, and then Mommy yanked me out of the basement and yelled at me, and I cried. Then Mommy told me never to go into the basement again, and she gave me a cookie. That made me feel better, so I didn't ask her why the boy in the basement was making noises like a puppy, or why he had no hands or feet. It went down. <laughs> These things must be broken. It's just- it's, These stories are really scary. It's got like peaceful lighting in here and it's kind of relaxing. And I'm, you're telling me stories. Okay, okay, these are these are two sentence horror stories. Okay. So these will really hit you like a ton of bricks. Okay. Ah, finally, I'm all alone. I said to myself as I sat in my bedroom at midnight, no, you're not, said knife guy. <laughs> Oh my god, it went up! <laughs> <laughs> Pretty spooky stuff, Aaron. <laughs> well, why don't you try to scare me with a story? Oh. Oh, it's like glued to me. Ugh, all right, here, just grab this. <laughs> and then lock it with the other one. Stop looking at my chub. Okay, I, I will actually put this in my mouth. Wipes. Yeah, give me a Please Purell. Please Oh, I'll well, just put Dan's armpit in my mouth. <gasps> yeah, we're doing this now, <laughs> baby. All right, tell me something scary. Tell okay. me something scary. Your heart rate's going up just anticipating the scariness. Okay, go ahead. Once upon a time, Ooh. there's a princess who lived in a castle, but her king was an evil man. One day he went into the princess's chambers. Hmm. And he said, Rubah! That did not move the needle. Oh, Let's go to the website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the hell is happening here? The story is based on true eyewitness accounts. This is the fucking one. It is, huh? This scared the shit out of me the first time I saw it. It was around 11.20 that night, but there was no one on the street. I usually see a lot of people even at night since my apartment complex is pretty big. Suddenly a shadow stretching towards me caught my eyes, although there wasn't anyone around me. I hate that. We're up to 77. <laughs> I looked up to see who there was and saw a woman walking in front of me, but she looked a little strange. 84. I could say that she looked crippled and she was living and struggling walking in front of me. We're 88, 89, 90, we're at 90. She was wearing <laughs> dirty pink pajamas and looked as if her joints and her body had been twisted. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like I shouldn't get any closer to her, nor did I have the guts to pass her by. You've seen this? I, it, it was horrible. Keep going. <sighs> She's turning. <laughs> you have to look. I'm looking. Ah! <laughs> 97! Yeah! Oh, she's not so bad. 105 BPM! Oh my god! You know, people say that if you're really surprised, you can't even scream. They froze, they're not being able to move at all. Oh! Oh! Oh Where no! Is my baby! The phone went out! Face ID! <laughs> Quickly! <laughs> my thoughts were racing to her question, where my baby is. Oh my god, I don't even know what I was thinking when I did that. <laughs> it gives me chills thinking that moment. Go! <laughs> I answered pointing as far as I could. Then she limped towards where I had pointed to. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> and I couldn't see her anymore. Or could I? Oh. She is not here. I heard her screaming from far away. Keep going, quickly. <laughs> ah! uh, I don't remember anything from then on. I heard that my neighbor found me passed out on the ground and took me home. How long is this? It's long. It's almost done. It's almost done. In 2007, at an apartment complex in, in Bangshundong, a 33-year-old woman jumped off the apartment and died on the spot. She had lost her custody to her two-year-old daughter and decided to commit to unalive. Right. Good save. After the incident, Chodun was seen walking around the apartment complex several times. Thank you. There's an ad. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Wait, that was it? Oh. The whole thing was scary and was leading up to something that was nothing! Whoa, I got up to all, uh, 111. 111. Yeah, yeah, you were scared for a minute there. Oh, yikes. Wait, aren't you scared of, like, sounds that increase? Like, monotone sounds? Yeah, but humans can't really do that. Really? It's like computer sound kind of stuff. It has to, like, it has to sustain yeah, for a period where I'm like, uh-oh. No, it's really nice. No, oh, that's nice! <laughs> these, are, these are all too pleasant! Like this? Yes. Okay, okay, here. Turn it off. It kind of has to, like, sustain for a little bit. It's not loud enough right now. It's not pleasant. Nothing can scare me except for the anticipation of being scared. Yeah, yeah. Like, like here. Say you're gonna scare me in an inordinate, in an indeterminable amount of time. All right. You ready? Yeah. You're already up to eight. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people don't know Aaron has a Pornhub account. Nutmaster69 is the username, and the password is... Uh